Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Benjamin, the Love Doctor, an accredited life coach that specializes in catching people creeping, lying, and cheating in relationships. Today's video, I'm going to show you why you should start your recovery with a life coach. Ever made the mistake of calling a doctor, Mr. They will immediately get offended and start screaming, Call me doctor! I learned this factor on my first corporate job in 1987. I remember the actual letter to a claims examiner, and I quote, My name is Dr. Jones, not Mr. Jones. Please address me as Dr. Jones. I worked hard and spent a lot of money for that degree. It is impolite of you to ignore my proper title. Sincerely, blah blah blah, Junior, MD, FACP, OB, Honorary Chairman. These are alphabet people that have multiple acronyms behind their names that represents additional certifications to their diploma, which enhances their grandiosity. Narcissism is about grandiose and entitlement. Grandiose meaning making them pompous, narcissistic. And narcissistic means acknowledge them as significant. Problem here is, narcissistic is the lack of empathy and moral ethics. Example of a lack of empathy with doctors do you know how a doctor informed me my mother passed? After me viewing her resuscitation? Nonchalant, he opens the curtain and says, She's gone. With an attitude of indifference, it is what it is. This causes trauma. Example of the lack of ethics with doctors. Ever had a doctor talk down to you? while explaining what's wrong with you? Ross Rosenberg's patients gave thorough examples on the website RapeMD's Doctors You Can Trust. Link within this video's description. This a-hole is not even a doctor. He's a therapist. Ready to be abused again? You will be shaking and meeting you be shaken after meeting with this person. It will be all too familiar. You will walk on eggshells, be humiliated, not listened to, and told that your therapist, as well as you, knows nothing. This causes trauma. I have been a senior executive assistant for over 25 years, working for some of the oldest, largest, and wealthiest corporations on earth for some of the most powerful people within those industries. I'm telling you, those people are not that smart. They have degrees, but no common sense, which makes them educated idiots. Michelle Obama co-signed my beliefs with a code of her own. I have been at every powerful table you can think of. They are not that smart. Please keep in mind, the biggest narcissists on earth are doctors and lawyers. There's a saying, if you want a better world, first thing you do, kill all the lawyers. And before you get mad at me, that was a quote by Shakespeare, so don't so get mad at him. Also, get mad at the narcissistic movie, War of the Roses, memorable quotes. What do you call 500 lawyers at the bottom of an ocean? An excellent start. The lawyer says, I used to resent jokes like that. Now I see them as simple truths. Prime example. Compare the behavior of a community college graduate 
and a Harvard graduate. Harvard will have grandiose behavior. That's the effect of diplomas and wealth. Even our attire is outstanding compared to your Halloween costume. As a victim of narc abuse, your desire to date is non-existent. Unable to think other than the abuse on a daily basis. Even after years have passed, you think you're going crazy. Rage has you fantasizing murdering your monster to make you feel better. Lay your head on my lap. So good, sweet woman. I like the way that made me feel. And we're looked down upon for having these thoughts, even by therapists. And they're the ones that's asking you what's going on with you. Tired of feeling foolish, you alienate yourself, tearing in the dark alone. At this point, you don't need someone with a degree. You need someone that's empathetic with intelligence. Empathetic meaning having the ability to feel how you are feeling. That's why they don't give diplomas for life coaching. You don't even need to be certified to be a life coach. You need to be someone that's been with a narcissist, been there, done that. When you talk, they thoroughly understand what you are saying. Someone that wants to heal you because they don't want anyone feeling how they felt. Someone that can protect you by psychologically analyzing your dilemma and protect your narc's next move. Someone whose passion has them working to get the results that's needed. Someone that doesn't hold back and tells you the truth so you can grow. Someone that's going to spend time with you and not charge you for their time. Their fee is appreciation. Prime example, the comments on my Red Flag 355 video. Drew, this is your calling. Never once has he asked for a single penny for what he does. He wholeheartedly does this with pure passion. Compassion. Just want to take a minute to say thank you to Andrew Benjamin, who was there for me in 2017 when I hit a rocky road. Um, didn't charge me a dime. He was there for me throughout the whole situation. Um, also, I've been around for a while. I have seen with my own eyes hundreds and hundreds of people that he's helped without asking for a dime. Um, they have thanked him. They, uh, they, their lives have actually changed because of another him. one. Nicely put. And 100% true. Drew can leave some of the therapists in the dust that have that piece of paper. But not the actual real life experience that he has. Appreciation will be shown with donations, referrals, gifts, and friendship. If I did charge you, you are at it. And why should I be compensated for my frustration? My rates are cheaper than all life coaches because I don't do this for money. Don't believe me? Go online and try to find someone cheaper than $100 a week around the clock with discretion. This is how much of a racket that's taking advantage of people hurting. So in conclusion, Experience trumps degrees. If you want someone that's going to understand you, start with a life coach that's been with a narcissist. Anyone who's been down this rabbit hole knows the difference between someone sprouting theory and someone speaking from experience. Coaches are cheaper than therapists, pretending they're helping you. 
charging you $300 for a 45 minute consultation is not helping you. If you can't afford therapy, where's the help? They're not going to help you. That's why therapists are referred to as the rapist. After seeing a life coach and you find that you need intensive help, a real life coach is going to refer you to a professional doctor skilled with narcissism. When you need professional help, research the doctor's ratings. Fuck his credentials. Red flag. Watch red flag number 359. Credentials of a narcissist. Ross Rosenberg. Then run! Doctors feel degrees makes them experts with narcissism. That's a lie. Being with a narcissist makes you an expert. Love is a battlefield, ladies and gentlemen. And I'm the motherfucking general. After a doctor has treated you, then you go to a therapist for aftercare. The truth hurts.